Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This reading's for the 21st, which is this coming Wednesday. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for Wednesday? What do we need to know? We gotta know right off the bat there. Romance is at the bottom. That might mean something to someone. All right, what else? Wait, and another no. <laughs> Let go is at the bottom. All right, well, it is what it is. Spirit is saying, wait it out. It's a no, especially if it's... um. If it's something in romance that went belly up before, I feel like you don't go back to it. But let's find out because I'm not really a romantic reader. So let's see what comes out. Sometimes co romance comes out and of course I will read it. But let's see if Spirit has anything else to say about someone that's a no. But they're saying wait, no, let go. All right, let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This could be something totally different. So it's probably going to be something different for each of you for sure. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Daily reading for this coming Wednesday. What are the messages? All right. Okay. Well, that <laughs> page of wands wanted to come out regardless. Okay. Uh, seven of wands. So like I said, that page of wands kind of pushed its way out. Uh, we've got the star reversed. We have the high priestess. The seven of wands is your central issue here. So protecting yourself. And absolutely, that's the vibe I got off this. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay. We've got the queen of wands. Can we get one more? This could be your energy or someone else's got a lot of wands energy happening here all right we're going to keep these all as one okay these this whole little group right here um right away it felt to me like protect yourself against something especially when the seven wands came out and the seven of wands is really like right towards and i'm holding my hand on it because i don't want the nakedness to show on this card but, um, you know, it's the star in reverse. And I see that, you know, this person's like pushing that star in reverse away. Like this isn't what I wanted, right? The page of wands comes in with some new energy. This is always like action. This is like new, playful kind of energy to me. This also could be some kind of information or messages coming through that you need to protect yourself. Um, also with the high priestess here, spirit is saying, make sure you follow your gut, your intuition. If you don't trust someone, there's probably a good reason for it. And I do want to say the lovers came out reversed over here as well. And it's here with the Page of Swords and the Justice card, both holding the Sword of Truth. So this makes me feel like, and this is Gemini energy and Libra energy coming through very strong over here. But you also have Aquarius, all a lot of air. But you also have... Um, uh, now, I for some reason, I blanked out before I said it, but it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well. I really feel like this air, air energy is coming through really strong, um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. But um, right away, I felt like you had to protect yourself against something, and it could be more than one thing or one person, because look at the five of wands. They're all pushing and shoving. It is reversed. So it is possible that, wow, look, you could have released yourself from a group or a person. You've got the, again, nakedness on this card, the world. You also have here the Eight of Swords in reverse. And you also have here the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the Five of Wands, again, in reverse. I feel like you've re you have... Um, released yourself from something it's a group for some of you and it could be a person for some of you um because this is protection and again spirit says no no it's a no so this could be why you're following your intuition or you could have really gotten some information because you have two cards right here of information coming into you also when i see the eight of swords here in the reverse this is somebody who didn't have information who now does Okay, so, and this is world. It brings in an end of something, but it's something you needed to let go of. So, Spirit says, be really careful. It's a no, and it's all around the wait. Wait for this. Don't jump into anything because there's more information yet to come out. And look at the wait card holds the sword of truth as well. 
All right, let's find out. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was the very, very detailed pre-Raphaelite tarot. And we also used the Angel Answers Oracle. And we're going to be using the Everyday Witch. All right, these are daily readings. This one's for this coming Wednesday. I believe it's, did I say it was the 21st? I believe that it is. Yes, Wednesday, the 21st of February for anyone who is guided. Of course, this could resonate any day whenever you see it, or it could just resonate later on down the line. In other words, it could be something you needed to hear now that is coming up later. All right, what do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay, and I think I mentioned the Queen of Wands here. It could be your energy or someone else's. All right, let's do it. What do we need to know about this energy here with um, the Seven of Wands, which is the central issue? What about the Seven of Wands is important here? Yep. Okay, we got a bunch that came out. We got the world in reverse, which you have back here as well. Okay, this is the thing that's coming in. So this world is coming in. And I feel like you are manifesting this in with the magician. You're just gathering all your tools like the magician does. Four of swords, getting ready to get back in action. It's in reverse. This lets me believe this is about to happen. This world's about to come in. Um, you have been, I feel like this laying low, four of swords was about the protection. Okay, so this is about to come in. There could be an opportunity coming your way. This could be the news and information that you are waiting for, that you need in this situation. Let's get a look at, um, that even could be the money coming through. I just randomly got that for somebody. So if you've been waiting for um, like a mortgage I'm getting or some kind of a loan or debt relief of some sort, this is coming. Uh, this could even be your tax return showing up if you were uh, expecting a refund. All right, let's get a look at, um, let's get, and you know, this has been difficult, whatever, you know, this wait and spirit says, don't worry about it, it's coming. Um, it's going to help you with the burden you've been carrying. This just flew out of the deck. All right, I was just getting ready to, um, I feel like this is news that's going to take a load off your shoulders. Tell me about the star here reversed. What about the star reversed? What do we need to know about it? Queen of Cups, Emperor reversed. These are two people, right? But they're both reversed. So this tells me something didn't work out in a situation. This could have been, this could be you and a boss. This could be you and a coworker. You know, this could be you and a love partner. It could be anything. But there's something here that's reversed about this. And the star reverse tells me there's been some kind of disappointment about this, but the wheel's about to turn. I'm going to look at it a little deeper and find out what it is. Tell me about star reverse, queen of cups reverse, emperor reverse. What is this about? It's like something didn't work out here between people. Or it's, it feels like there's a lot of people involved in this. Yep, Eight of Cups just came right out of the deck with a bunch of other cards tried to come out. But this is the only one that turned face up. Eight of Cups. Somebody left the building or is leaving the building or is realizing it's time to let go of something. Uh, because it didn't work out. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, there's something here that wasn't right about it. Uh, whatever it is, it could be anything. Whatever it is, it's been a struggle. It's been draining. There could have been other people involved. Tell me about the um, Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands? Whoa. Okay. Well, look at that. Releasing a third party. I'm going to put the rest that fell face down back. But these are the three that came out face up. We have three of pentacles, four of pentacles reversed, and the page of wands. Someone's going to take an action to re release something that involved, I, I believe this is a group situation. If this could be a third party, this could be a work situation. It is three of pentacles, but somebody's definitely going to release it, let it go, release it. Um, this is going to bring in this new energy. This also could be the information you needed. Something happening here that's going to help you release something or or bring in information that you needed for new opportunity or new beginning. It's positive because it keeps coming out page of wands. So it's positive. It's probably just been hard to get to this point because of the five of wands and the 10 of wands here and the 
you know, the need to heal up top there. Uh, let's take a look at or something that didn't, it, it's like something that didn't work out. Tell me about the Empress. What about the Empress? I mean, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm calling her the Empress, but it's the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Yeah, five of pentacles. All right, now if you look closely, this is someone who's, you know, with child left out in the cold here. But I do feel like this really just says, I have felt a certain way about something here. And I've been like high priestess, she intuitively knows like I'm not being included in something. And if you look closely, all these people are working together, but she's not really included. Um, you know, and this is that reality of it, I feel. And the five of cups here in reverse of, I'm not going to stay in this anymore. You know, I constantly feel five of cups, three of swords betrayed in this situation. And I'm just not going to stay in it anymore. I'm releasing it. This is a release of something. And it's like, you're doing what's right for you. You got all these fives, five of wands reversed, which is the way we want to say it. Five of cups and five of pentacles. You continually feel this five of pentacles. It's still here in the upright. And this is the thing that you're actively releasing because it keeps you burdened. And if you don't release it and let it go or walk away, look at all the cards of releasing something. Five of cups, five of wands, both in reverse. I release these fives. I don't want to stay feeling like this anymore. The 10 of wands, I'm at the very end of a long struggle and I'm heading into, I'm dropping these burdens. And when I do, I head into this new vibrant energy, which has come out twice here again. I release this group of people. I release this third party. I release this job. There's something here you release and it brings in your new energy. Again, same exact energy as that. And here it is again up here. Whatever has been disappointing between me and this person or people, I, I let it go. I release it. I leave it behind. I'm heading into this new energy again defending myself from anything that doesn't serve me. I want this world to come in, the world I'm waiting for, this new opportunity, this new, uh, it's a new cycle. It's the ability to let go of an old cycle, really. It's a graduation. See how she's throwing her hat in the air and she's graduating this. She's, you know, fought the good fight and she's winning. That's a winner for me. I have all the tools I need now to go back into action from where I was not taking action before. And accept new opportunities, go out and offer new opportunities, whatever it is. It's something brand new coming in here. Let's take a look. But whatever this is, it releases a person or a group of people. No doubt about it. All right, let's take a look. Whatever it is, has been disappointing. Tell me about the justice, the page of sort. You could even be getting some kind of legal news, some kind of news that allows all this to happen and it is spirit says no no wait for this wait for this you're gonna be letting this go in a minute just wait for the there's something i feel like it's information tell me about justice page or it's something you've got to see there's something here about it page of swords and justice with the lovers reversed and it doesn't have to be love. It could be anything. These just came out. Eight of swords and the six of pentacles reverse. This has been imbalanced because you've been, remember what I just said two seconds ago while I was shuffling. There's something you've got to see. So if it's not news or information coming out, it's something you have to see that you've been unable to see. Eight of swords. Remember, as soon as you see it, you get to go into the world. And these are the energies here. When I see it, I can go into the world. I can finally release myself from whatever has held me back. Whatever this imbalance is, you get the balance back. You go from, you know, being unable to see in an imbalanced situation to justice, a balanced situation. See, the scales of justice are now balanced, coming in with something you'll see or some kind of news you'll receive or a decision that you make because it is lovers and lovers does not have to be about love for me lovers is a decision card whether it has to do with love or not but it's in reverse and there's a decision that gets made here and it brings in balance i just got chills temperance at the bottom another card of balance all the balance comes in when you go down that new path, two of wands, when you make up your mind, which decision you're going to make, what way are you going to go? And spirit says, wait for this. It's either news 
or information that's physically coming in for you, or this is more about intuitively you seeing the bigger picture and you seeing your way forward and you seeing which path you need to take and you seeing what needs to be left behind more on an intuitive level. You have a lot of intuitive cards coming through here and it's very possible that this is more of a spiritual awakening of sorts. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please comment down below. Are you waiting for physical information or are you waiting for spirit to send you guidance on how to release something and move towards something brand new, which would be very positive for you. It would allow you to finally release. It's like a purging. Uh, anyway, let me know, guys. I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below. Don't forget to like this video. It helps the channel and I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.